for centuries, deep thinkers thought of earth, air, fire, and water as the fundamental elements. It was a reductionist kind of idea. It, they, nothing was more elemental than those, and you could you could sort of build everything up from those. When we got the periodic table of elements, we realized that, um, of, of course, we want to study earth, air, fire, and water. There's combustion science for fire. There's, you know, um, there's sciences for for all these other things, water and so forth. So we're going to do science with these things, but but fundamental, no, no. If you're looking for something fundamental, those are the wrong building blocks. Earth has many, many different kinds of elements that project into the one thing that we call Earth. If you don't understand that there's silicon, that there's iron, that there's all these different kinds of things that project into what we call Earth, you're 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 hopelessly lost. You you're not fundamental. You're not going to get there. And then after the periodic table, then we came up with quarks, leptons, and gluons, the the particles of the standard you know the standard model of physics. And 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 so we actually now know that if you really want to get fundamental, the periodic table isn't it. It's good for chemistry. And it's just wonderful for chemistry. But if you're trying to go deep, fundamental, what is the fundamental science? That's not it. You're going to have to go to quarks, leptons, and gluons, and so forth. Well, now we've discovered space-time itself is doomed. Quarks, leptons, and gluons are just irreducible representations of the symmetries of space-time. So the whole framework on which consciousness research is being based right now is doomed. And for me, th these are my friends and colleagues that are doing this. They're brilliant. They're absolutely they're, they're they're brilliant. I my feeling is I, I'm so sad that they're stuck with this old framework because if they if they weren't stuck like with earth, air, fire, and water, you could actually make progress. I mean, so it doesn't matter how smart you are. If you start with earth, air, fire, and water, you're not going to get anywhere, right? Can I actually 